Okay, my phone battery almost died on me anyway. It's a good thing I stopped the last video because I was at 33%. Uh, anyway, I started to charge it up and then I found my box. And I thought, well, I'll do a quick video. It's got to be quick because my battery's not very charged up. So I found my Corsair power supply box. And, uh, oh my God, 10 years warranty. Cool. I wonder, I wonder how long I've had it. I don't think I've had it 10 years. Anyway, 850 watt. So now we've got all these extra cables supposed to be in there. Now the question is, did I use them all up? Or is there, have I got some free ones? I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I have some of the adapter ones in here. Because I'm going to need them. <laughs> oh, please, please, please be in here. I don't want to be stuck without my computer for what three or four days before i can get orders the adapters that would not be fun at all that would not be at all cool they sound a really nice outer box but uh the inner box is uh very bland okay so i've forgotten how we opened the damn thing it's been that long Okay, I'm going to sec. Let me just move my phone over here. Because I... Uh, so, I'm going to put this on my knee, you see. Right. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to get into here. I don't know how to get in. Well, I've been in it before, so where's it opening? Oh, it's on the end. Ah, typical. Oop. So I'm going. <coughs> it would open the other way. I want to turn it around. <sighs> right, so. This is what you get with this power supply when you get it. Oh, cables. Oh, I never used the power cable. I already had one. Oh, look at that. Huh. Cable ties. I never actually used them. Hey, what's this? What's this? Power? Powered by Corsair. Oh, I never stuck that on my computer case, did I? There's a little sticker you can put on. Cool. Never used that either. Right. So let's have a look to what we've got in the back. I like all the little... What do you call them? I like the Easter eggs that you get with this stuff. Look at this nice little back. Look at this. Look at this cool bag I never use. Look at that. It's, um, but you pull it and it ties up. Look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Never even used it. Hey, I could walk around with that over my shoulder. <laughs> Corsair. Makes me look like a real geek. <sighs> no, I don't think I want to do that. I'm looking like a computer geek. So there's the back. This is the magic back. And it feels like there's a lot of cables in here. <sighs> I'm getting all excited now. I'm hoping that we've got what I need in here. Oh, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. I can't remember. It's been so long since I actually put, put that computer power supply in. Oh, shucks. Oh, that's no good. I don't want that. Um, these are the ones. These are the SATA ones. <sighs> don't say. Don't say it's going to give me the finger and say. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Cut these them. Another one. 
can't use them. So, what's already in there? Oh, well, that's a female. I mean, that's a male. I want a female. Oh, come on, give me what I need. <laughs> no, I don't have what I need. Corsair, you should, you should give the people what they need. What's this piddly little thing? Can't use that. Hang on, what can I? I don't know. No, you can't put 10 amps through that thing and into that. No, no. What the hell? So, that, 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 that. Does not compute, does not compute. Um, that basically <coughs> messes up my hopes and dreams for the moment. Uh, so it's a few bags. I'm just going to see what this thing does. Um, see if that's. I was wondering whether or not I can cut the plug off. I was wondering whether I... Let's have a look anyway. But let me put the light back on a minute. Um, right, better. Oh, the magnet's in. Okay, so... Oh, what am I doing? Right, so it's... Um, it's this thing. You see what the problem is? Male, male. Ah, uh, you can't see. Male, male. Well, I don't fancy you. I don't fancy you either. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's not going to work. <clears throat> I might as well stick this back in this bag because it's no use. No cross stick. Nice little Velcro bag. <clears throat> In reality, it's all a gimmick. Because they didn't give me what I needed. Just blow my nose and sob. <clears throat> ah. So the the only other option, I've just realised something. I've just thought of something. You know my computer across the room over there, the the backup computer that's basically sat there doing nothing and it's been just sat, I haven't been bothered to fix it and put the new motherboard in it and all that. You know what? There might be some of them sockets on there that can nick, borrow them temporarily. Yay, that might work. Let's go and have a look, because what I need is SATA to, I forgot what we call them now. I forgot we call them white sockets. I forgot we call them. 
I used to know, was it 80 years it or? Uh, I'll stick the magnet back on it. Right. So if I go across the room, oh, I said this was going to be quick, then I? Uh, I ain't got enough battery. I'm just going to pause a sec. Backup computer. Backup computer has. It has those female sockets, but these are designed to It has the female sockets, but I wonder. I wonder. Remember, anything I nick off this computer, I've got to replace because I've got to rebuild the damn thing. I haven't even put the motherboard in. I've got the new motherboard for it, and I just haven't got around to it. Will that plug into my other modular one? That is a question. So what I'm going to have to do is unplug it. Because there's, uh, if you look at this, there's two sockets on here that are female that I want. Will that plug into the other machine? So if I unplug that. The other thing I could do is upgrade this computer to SATA, which is possible because the power supply it took out is um, uh, it's a uh, it's a Corsair uh, 520 watt, and it has. It's not, oh yeah, it is modular, look. It's got, um, got these sockets in the back, look. Right. In theory, you know them leads that are in the bag, in the other, um, the other Corsair power supply, them leads will plug into here, right? Which means I could convert this machine to a SATA so, because this this lead here goes into these sockets like that, right? But will this lead plug into my other Corsair power supply? I'm hoping it's standard. Let's go and have a look. So, will... Will that plug into that power supply? And guess what? Uh, doesn't look like it will. Doesn't look like it will. <sighs> Hang on. I can't seem to get the angle right. I can stand. Can I get in there? As close as I can. Like you see, they're all rectangular modules. 
There is no thin in line. There's no in line. Like that. There's no in line ones. Single in line. They're all dual in line. Ah, oh, I'm just beat. What's that down there? Um, there must be a wire tucked away somewhere that I've, I have uh, overlooked that's got one of the old style on the end. Maybe in here somewhere. There's got to be something in here that will plug in to... See, the only things I've got are down here, right? And the ones the ones I custom made for the for the fan. Because that goes to that goes to that fan right at the front case, but it's only got two wires coming to it, right? Just two wires. So I can't use that. Um hang on. That's male as well. So that's male. So that's not good. <clears throat> yeah, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, I'm screwed just up to my speaker. Um, I don't know. Looks like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cobble something together. That's another side. There is only other ones, other possibility. <clears throat> you know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Take this plug off. Wire this into um into one of them other sockets that are modular that fit into the four right because that's what these are anyway coming down they come down hang on oh oh hang on a minute hang on a minute I just remembered something. Guess what? Guess what I've just found? You're not going to believe what I've just found. Ta-da! <laughs> it was hiding behind this panel. Oh! So I have one. It's plugged into, this end's plugged into my, um, this end comes down, it's plugged into this thing that goes into my electrostatic filter, right, this thing. I actually cobbled this together before, years ago. So this thing, or this thing, this adapter thing here, it's all tied up with tape. All I have to do is um, get this freaking tire up off here. Hang on a minute. Oh, this video is getting longer. It's 20 minutes already. My back is flat. So that's good news because that means I've got one, which is all I need. 
We just like the little drive caddy thingy. This little thingy. It's not going to use much power to, to run two SSDs. And all I need is one at the moment because, um, as I say, I all I need is one right now. I can get this plugged up. I can get my other hard drive in there. <clears throat> then I can go online and order um, a splitter, a Y connection, which basically splits one of these into two. And then I'm, I'm sorted. Well, I've got one here. Ah, female. So, <clears throat> hang on. So, let's just uh, see. Let me get this tape off here. I have to wrap all this up again with more tape. Anyway. Alright, get this out. Mm. I bet there's two of these. I have got a feeling I took them behind here ages ago. Oh, oh my God, look. Oh, you're not going to believe it, there's two. <laughs> oh my God, there's two. They were hiding. No, oh, bloody neck. There's two. Yeah, they were hiding. Is there another one down here? Oh, don't say that I've got three. Hang on, cable tie. Have I got three? <laughs> oh my god, this is like Christmas, isn't it? You, you open your Christmas present and you don't know what you're going to get, and all of a sudden, oh my god, there's three. Oh, I've got everything I need. Oh my god, this is this is Christmas. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, right, let me get this cable tie off because everything's hiding. I honestly forgot all about them being there. Ah, oh, this is not some, what do you call it, crank video. I honestly didn't know they were there. I took them away because I didn't need them. I must have done. That must be the explanation. Where's this go? <laughs> Look at that. I have three females. Uh, you know what's coming next, don't you? What going? Why what are you going? Did you bring the Vaseline? Oh yeah, oh, I forgot. Hang on. Oh, damn it. Oh, at last, at last. So that'll fit. Hello. Hello. You silly bugger, you put it on the wrong end. Oh, yeah, we're in business. Go! Cool. That's made my day because you know what that means. That means that. I didn't have to butcher this cable and make a, uh, uh, make a cobble together system because I can put this back on my old backup computer. I can still put it all back together again when I get this thing done. <sighs> right, so I'm charging my phone up because the battery um, is getting pretty flat. And it's really cool that I have the uh, adapter leads. I'm really chuffed about that. <clears throat> so, what's the next step? Well, <sighs> try to get my leg under this thing. So, now I've got um, the adapter leads. Oh, that light's right in my eyes. 
I can start to put this uh, caddy into the dry bit and because uh, I can plug my power leads into these things once I get it in. So I'm going to thread this through. It's going to be tricky to get the the um, SATA plugs on there but I'll figure it out. I'll get there. I can't see what I'm doing on the back because I've got the top. My phone is on charge right now so I need to thread these wires so that they don't get threaded through all the other wires and tangled up. Now this has to stick out at the same as that, the same as that. So um so that has to stick out like that. Otherwise it won't work. Right. Well that, you see this is why I'm gonna have a lot of trouble getting those SATA data leads on because this thing sits so far forward I can't even yeah I can't even <coughs> see the damn thing what the do what do I do um hmm hmm maybe I'll put the SATA leads on there first but will this thing go in because, <clears throat> I don't know if you notice this, but there's a slight hiccup. Now that one is straight, so that would work. But this one is right angle. So the right angle one's going to go on the motherboard. So my label is on the wrong end of the dam. So I'm going to have to move my label now. <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't move the camera because it's on charge. So I'm going to move my SATA one lead to the other end that's all I can do really because the right angle one is going to have to go on the motherboard because I there's no way I'm going to be able to put that on there when it's in because I can't I can't even it's set right in the so I'm going to pull that out again So what I've got to do is, I have to plug this straight end, the SATA lead. Um, oh, that, that way it's driving me nuts, nuts, it's right in my eyes. I'm going to come over here a minute. <coughs> I can't see what I'm doing because the light's glaring at me. So, and my phone's charging up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this end on... It's lockable as well, look. It's got the lockable one on. And that needs to be lockable. That's a good thing. So, the... See, because of these lockable catches, it's such a trick to get them on. I want it on the bottom one because the lockable one on the bottom because that's the boot one. That's the boot one. You don't want that coming out. You don't want that coming out when you're, uh... huh, guess what, this caddy is cheap, this thing is cheap because there's no latch for it to lock onto, so the caddy, even though this, this cable is lockable, there's nothing to lock to, alright, so I can push it on, easy. I think I can get it on, right? They, they, they haven't even left much room for you. There's not much room. It goes on though, but... The, the latch won't lock onto anything because there's nothing to latch to. Which is very disappointing. So that's on. So that's the only way I can do it because <sighs> so I need another so basically the, the other end that goes to the CD DVD ROM sorry um don't know can you see me over here uh just about 
So the other end, I can't move my phone because it's charging up, it's nearly flat. So the other end that goes to that DVD drive, I'm going to leave the power lead in though because there's a disc in it and I have to reject it. But there'll be no SATA data connection to it unless I can. Uh, when I get the. Um, <clears throat> when I get the um, PCI to SATA board off eBay, which is going to be a few weeks. I can, there's a slot on my motherboard, I can plug that piece of ice directly into the motherboard if there's enough room, but my graphics card takes two freaking slots, uh oh, my graphics card takes two slots, it, it's wide, my graphics card is really wide, so it's occupying the space of two freaking slots. <laughs> okay, so that's out of the question. So there's no PCI to SATA. So um, do I have a spare USB? Can I have USB to SATA? Maybe. Let's see. Have I got a spare USB down here? Um. Hang on a minute, can't see. My glasses won't focus. Oh yeah, there's a USB socket down there. USB one one. USB one 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 two. Uh, there's some blue sockets. Um, so, yeah, I could get a USB, let me have a look on my other phone a minute, because that's, that's filming right now, um, let's go on eBay. <clears throat> My eyes, I can't focus right now. You saw eye drops. Uh, where's he there? No, right, found you. <sighs> Flipping. <sighs> Stupid thing. Flipping. Customize my choices. Um, just stop nagging me, will you? Uh, um, continue to right. Uh, USB to SATA internal. USB to SATA internal. Right, this is what we get. Ooh! USB, oh, that's external. Oh, cable. USB to SATA external cable, laptop internal. DVD, CD drive, thing. oh well that's what I want, I want something for the DVD drive anyway, so would that work? Hey, that might work, let's have a look. So that's seven pounds, let's have a look at that. Ah. Oh, nag screens. Right, let's have a look. So there's this little 
thing that I'm looking at. Um, so that's a SATA. Oh, it's got one of them freaking US. I want the USB modular connection on it. It's got. It's not. That, it's not got the right connection on it. So that's that's that would work on the USB on the DVD drive. But look at the massive socket. That's for. Uh, yeah, it's got a standard plug on it. What I'm looking at is the. Um, the internal motherboard pins you know the um hang on a minute oops just minimize that a minute oh dear me i can't move the film because i'm charging uh let's see so take a photo of that uh, torch oh, on the light on right so what I want I can get a photo of it a freaking thing So what I want is an internal to plug into the socket. So basically it's just a plug. You plug it into this socket. It's got one, two, three, four, five. It's got five pins at the top, five pins at the bottom. That's for two USBs, basically. So I'm looking for something like that. Let's just have a look at the other board. Hang on a minute. Uh, I don't know what you call this plug though, I can't remember what you call it, I'll, oh it would be my manual, but the manual is on this computer and I can't boot the computer, so yeah, I'm going to have to, hang on, let's go back to eBay, no, that's all right, mm, anyway, I'm going to get that thing in, because I'll look it up later because uh, I've just remembered the videos going. It's gonna be a long, long, long video. So I've, I need the cable off the DVD drive, um, which is lockable, which is not going to be lockable on that thing. So I'll take that off the DVD drive, and that is SATA. Number six. So <clears throat> even though this plugs into this drive, right? I still have to plug the other end into SATA six because remember SATA six is for the DVD normally. So if I was to plug that into SATA 5, then that means that the drive that was on SATA 5 would no longer be bootable or usable because it would be different mapping. So, yeah. Anyway, this is got the straight on push connector. So, I'm going to plug that in to here. Let's see if it, where, where was it flipped. Can't tell. Oh, the L is on the left. That's right. I'll plug that into here. And that's also not going to lock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape on these two wires so that they don't. If one's pulled, it's not going to pull them all out. And um, if one comes out, they both come out basically because that way um, they give each each other some reinforcement. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just wrap a bit of tape around there. Um, You would have thought they would have made, made these lockable but it is cheap it was well it was 20 quid that's not that cheap um ah. 
So, uh, the other reason for taping them together is it keeps everything neat. So I'm going to wrap, I'm going to bend these down at an angle like this. Oh, like that. So that there's no strain on them because they're, they're both bent together. It keeps the tip. It keeps the cable management a little bit tidier. Right, wrap some tape around there because they'll otherwise they'll get twisted and wrapped around everything else. And it's only painter's tape. I used that painter's tape before and it, it lasted well. Don't need insulation tape for this. Right, so they're in there. Now that makes it easy to thread as well. So what I have to do now is thread uh, Alan. <laughs> Just joking. Alan, thread these two down. I think I'm going to put some more tape on them actually because it keeps them together. Two wires together, it means there's less chance of them getting all, you know. Um, Because they're going to the same place basically, well, more or less. Um, SATA sockets are all pretty much close together, so I'm just going to tape it all the way down. Then I won't get it one wire going round the back of one lot of wires and the other wire going on. Uh, that's horrible. When it, ha when it happens like that, it gets really messy. Um, Because I can't see what I'm doing here at the moment. These wires are so freaking long as well. Huh, you know what? My label on the red one's fallen off. But it's a good thing I know that that's SATA number one. So SATA number one has fallen off the red label. It'll be on the floor somewhere. Hang on, let's find it. Yep. Ah. See, my labels have fallen off already. But luckily, there it's got hers on it now. I only need the labels long enough to put them all back in again, that's all. So SATA 1 fell off, SATA 6, which is the black one, and I freaking hers are stuck to it now. Right, that'll make life a bit easier. I'm going to thread them down there first. And then I'm going to screw this bay in. The power sockets are easy because they stick out on my. Right, that wants to be pushed with that. Um, where's my ruler? Yeah, that's good. Now I want to get my screws in before it moves. Mm. I'm sorry that I can't show you what I'm doing, but the battery's still... Well, the phone, at least the battery won't go flat because it's on charge, so. I just don't like being tortured with the light. 
I'm hoping that I can uh, find the holes. Hang on. I can't see the holes. Where are they? Oh my god. They're right on the edge. Oh. Hang on. Oh. I will lift it up a bit. Maybe. Ah, uh, that's why. It has to be lifted up. <clears throat> ah. Right, so I'm going to... I'm going to have to realign it in a minute. I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> get one screw started. I can't see. I need five... I need three pairs of hands. No, two pairs of hands. No. That's not going to work. Hang on. Mmm. 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 Yeah. That torch has been. Ah. Right. Ah, I... yeah. Okay. <coughs> I can see both holes now. Well, one hole's got a screw in it. These are very focals, so I can only focus when I'm at... Oh, hang on a minute. Can I put my glasses on upside down? Well, that works. tighten up yet because I have to position this oh. All right, that's push with that now I'm trying it up a bit You know what comes next, don't you? Putting the screws on the other side. Do you think I'm going to do that right this minute? Because it means moving the chair and moving this all out. No, I'm going to plug everything in, put it all got together, get it working. Um, because something else I've got to do. I have to install Linux on an SSD drive with all of the other cables unplugged. Right, That's why I put the labels on as well. Now, once I've installed Linux on the other SSD drive, then I can plug all the other cables back in. Because if you don't do that, Linux tries to create a boot menu, and I've already got a boot menu. I don't, oh, my glasses are upside down. I don't need them upside down now. So, I don't want to create, Linux always puts Grub, I think it's called Grub, it's a boot menu or something anyway and it's going to mess up my other boot menu that's in there i've got a boot menu where you can you can browse to the disk and you can send you can mount it it's already there i don't need to mess that up and if i install linux now it's going to say oh you've got oh you've got four hard drives oh oh i'll i'll be nice and help you and i'll put my boot menu on the only one problem it only gives you two choices, Linux or Windows. Uh, and then all the other operating systems I've got on there are invisible. I can't boot to them anymore. So that's the reason why you have to make sure you unplug all your other drives and just have one drive that you install Linux onto 
once it's installed then you can plug all the other stuff back in and then you can swap which using that menu it's like boot menu it's already in there which is called um gag the boot gag boot manager then you can use your gag boot manager to go to set up <coughs> then browse add os add operating system you browse to the drive that's got the linux system on it and then when you boot up every time you can just select which operating system to boot from <sighs> so it's that simple really um, unfortunately these operating systems try to be too clever and it just cause more pop windows is the worst actually windows always goes and screws everything up especially if you've got it tries to put itself on the same partition as your um as your um um as your look windows operating system so it's all on one partition and you you have a windows boot menu and that you can't access your all the other stuff and you yeah it just gets really messy right so I want to bring the camera back over here, but I'm still charging up. So what I've got to do is my... Oh, look, it's coming up again, look. So this one can go back into SATA number one because that's going to stay in now. The other ones are going to stay out until I'm ready for them. But SATA 6, SATA 6 can go up into the SATA 6 socket because that's for the other... Um, that's for the other... Um, drive there's, there's nothing in it so i can put sata 6 and sata 1 in but i can leave the rest out anyway that's, that's where i'm at at the moment um sata 1 <clears throat> um, you see if i pause the video right now you're gonna miss it anyway but i just want to get on with it freaking two o'clock i've been doing this for four hours now I've been at this for four freaking hours. Um, I can't see. I need that torch that's on the camera. Hold on a minute. I just realised something. Use my other phone. Right, torch. Where are you? Ooh, there we go. Right, I'm not going to film on here though. Because this one's rubbish. Um, so I'm going to shred that down the back of, let's see. And yeah, what I need to do is, yeah. You know, I said I wasn't going to take that back cover off. No, I can get around it. Uh, maybe. No, I don't think I can. Let's have my torch off again, on it. Um, what I have to do is thread this these two side leads around the back because then they're out of sight, out of mine. Because these these are never going to get unplugged. That's the reason why these need to go on the back because they're unplugged basically when you take the drives out of here, right? So if I could, actually if I can just um. Take this down a bit. I don't have to take it all the way down, just so I can thread the wire through. So I've got to grab them at this end. Right. Well, uh, I can see light now. I can see what I'm doing. So the light shining through, and I can see where to thread it. Right. Ready to go. Ah. Uh. What the hell is that? Oh, you twat. Have you come off?
That other plug just come off. Can you believe it? You know, Sasa 6. It's just come off. It's bloody drive. I don't believe it. No, Sata 1. It's come off. I think. No, hang on. I can't see what I'm... Oh, just a minute, what's come on? What's, what am I looking at here? Oh, no, it hasn't come off. Oh, yes, it has. You son of a gun. I don't believe this. I'm going to put my glasses upside down again because I can't see. Where are you going? You know, I taped them together so they wouldn't do this and now they do this. Right. At least because it's tip the tip together I can see which um oh my fingernail nearly broke then. Okay, so stupid wire get on. You know what? I'll take this fucking thing out again. I've got to take the damn screws out again. Where's that going? Mm. Why did China not put a lock on it? This is exactly what I was worried about. These cables are so heavy. They're so thick. They come off easy. Because there's too much stress on the plug, on the socket. And uh, so what I'm going to have to do now, is glue them in. I really don't want to do that. But what do you do when you're dealing with bad quality components? Look at that, it come out look. So I'm going to plug that back in again. Put my glasses on way around. So that came out. So what I'm going to do is. Okay, what a carrying on I'm having here. Um, I'm stressed out, so I'm having a fag. <laughs> Can you blame me? I'm freaking... Oh, I've been at this for nearly six hours now. <clears throat> Tell you what, the... Do uh, you know why I had such a trouble, problem getting these plugs to plug in? You know, and they were really tight. The pins on the socket, that the leads that came with the adapter module, the pin, one of the pins was pushing out the back and it was frigging bent because the pin was too frigging tight to fit in these. These are the high quality, the black ones are the high quality uh, sockets, right, from Corsair, right? These white ones are the cheap ones from China, right? And the socket, the pins were bent. One of the pins and the black earth ground wires was bent because I've been pushing it in so hard it wouldn't go in and because the pins aren't centered properly 
the they, they don't well they're too big basically the pins are too big to go in the hole right so it's like putting a, a square peg in a round hole basically you won't anyway i'll use some wd wd-40 i'll squirt some wd-40 in the socket to soften it up and my little joke earlier about using vaseline wasn't far off we needed to <laughs> we needed to lubricate them because they were so freaking tight anyway i've got them in at last so needless to say i won't be taking these out very often um hopefully i won't need to do anyway so yeah anyway that's why i am at the moment so i'm about ready i'm going to put the front cover back on because it looks horrible like that you know it's all oh, this foam lying around actually that should be stuck on there and it's coming off i need some more double-sided tape on there the uh the idea is to stop the air blowing through all these holes, these little holes, because the air is supposed to blow through this fan um, inside the case and through these ports to to cool the hard drives down. That's where it goes. The air goes through these ports to blow, to, to cool the hard drives, and uh, these holes don't matter because <coughs> that's where the front case is mounted. The front cover is pushed into these holes, so these these get blocked anyway. But this foam's coming off. So, um, where's my double-sided tape? Uh, right, here it is. So, we'll get some of that. And... I have no idea why I didn't stick these on double-sided tape before, because... Maybe it's because I didn't have any. Maybe. So, if I stick that on here... Over them holes and take the backing off. Right, that should stick on there now. <clears throat> right, it's just to make sure the air goes where it needs to go, basically. And also the rubber foam, it reduces the noise. I'm not worried about these little holes here because they're pretty close to the hard drive. So the air goes through, gets to the hard drives and cools it. So uh, I didn't want to make any bigger holes in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, that should sort that out because the air comes in here, blows up inside the case panel. Uh, Okay, front cover, I need to get you back on. Um, ah, this is going to be tricky. I need to step around the camera now. Hang on. Oops. Hopefully I've got this lined up properly. Hopefully. Top lined up first. Did I get it? Oh, this cover's got to come out. <laughs> I forgot. Nice front cover. That one. That's got to come out. Right. Now it, now it should go on. Is it going to line up? <clears throat> Oops. Uh, hang on a minute. I don't think something's lined up properly. Where's my other torch? Uh, you bugger. It's going to go down a bit. <sighs> oh, summer. Hang on.
yeah i need to loosen the screws uh, again which is why i i uh so if i loosen the screws for that caddy we should be able to get enough alignment hmm. it's already on the bottom the screws are already so this should come down a bit ah that's it that's what i wanted to do get it down let's tighten this one up again it should line up now right Ugh. I'll try again I had to tighten the screws up because otherwise when I push the case on it'll push this bit in it'll push it all the way in and then we uh, in a no man's land then because I've got to... right should go on now let's see is it right ah yeah it's gonna go on cool right I'm just dumping it. It's the only way to do it. You gotta stump. Right. It's on. Look. Uh it's recessed like it's supposed to be, because these are recessed, look. Cool. So now, when I operate this lever, the guard comes out. The other one. Whoops. Okay, the screws are in the right position. Good. That looks tacky now, doesn't it? <laughs> With the silver foil on it. Yeah, be alright. I'll put the silver on it by the way because it was white before. I just thought it looked better. Um because it kind of goes with the other silver buttons. Well anyway, that's on. Okay. Now hopefully I don't have to take this freaking cover off again. I shouldn't think I will have to do, but um Okay, let me just, oh, I'll pause actually. Oh, yeah, and incidentally, I already got, uh, I already made a bootable Linux uh, Azorin OS 17 disk. So I can just put that in the drive, uh, install Linux on that, not the drive that's in there, on another drive I've got, which I'm going to use. So let's have a look on it. Actually, I'm probably going to have to. Um, I'm waiting for. Um, I'm waiting for an SSD I ordered, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I went. I went doing some data management today. This disk was just storing virtual machines, which, to me, honestly, I don't need to keep them because the virtual machine where is yeah, you just reinstall it anytime you want to use it, really, and. Uh, so this is, um, um, hang on, what was it? I forgot what it is now. Um, 500 gigabyte? Oh, what is it? Um, 120 gigabyte. So this is 120 gigabyte, which is enough for Linux. No, any easy because I, I mean I've been installed on the virtual machine on 30 gigabyte virtual disk so yeah this is more than enough I could actually install Linux on here and I could install Windows 7 on here if I wanted so obviously what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be ejecting the oh it's stuck now oh there we go I'm going to be ejecting this this one and I'm going to install it on that one 
because this has got my Windows 7 on it and uh, so I don't know I can actually leave it unplugged while I'm actually doing it so which is useful so I'm actually going to leave that out because I don't want to accidentally erase it so let's put this one in and uh, I'll put that aside because <clears throat> yeah I don't want to accidentally erase that I'll wipe it or anything so I've got to basically um, um, So I'll, I'm going to have to move the machine across the room, plug everything back in, except for these all these little um, things for now. I'll just leave everything unplugged until I've got Zorin uh, installed. And then I can plug all my satas back in afterwards. So, oh, I've got to unplug these leads in, yeah, have I? <laughs> You know, remember I've got a. I I remember got to put. Um, uh, oh, my lever fell off again. Look, tricky next. So that's SATA one. I know what it is. The red one keeps falling off the damn lead. As I say, I only need these leads until I get them all plugged back in. But anyway, as long as one falls off at a time, I'll be all right. So SATA one needs to go. Can't see anything. Just a minute. Mm. Let's see if I can. It's down here somewhere, so uh, I need to zoom in. <clears throat> All these wires are in the way. So, SATA one is. Move this out of the way. Here's that one. Oh, what the heck? This is in the way. I don't believe it. Hang on a minute. I can't do it until I put my graphics card back in, obviously. Saturday one is there. So let's get that sorted out. Right. I'm going to have to do some what cable twisting it so that it, they go in without stressing the cables so um, i moved around the back so they wouldn't actually get tangled up with everything else so a better a little bit better cable management so i wanted to do a little bit of cable twisting to get them to line up right that will go in there it's locked and the other one is number six that goes in the top there. Oh, I don't say this is going to be blocking my access to number. Uh, oh, does it go upside down? Hang on. Oh, cool. It goes upside down. That's good. So I can turn it upside down. So what block the access to cable SATA number three, which is a bloody good thing because uh, I hate it when that happens. You know what I mean? When you plug one thing in and uh, you can't plug the others in. Right, so SATA 1 and SATA 6 is plugged in. And that's all I need to do my Zorin install. And the cables are all tucked nicely against the, the back case out of the way because I don't want to be messing with those um, because they're ejectable. So obviously I don't need to do. So that's plugged in, that's plugged in, uh, in the right sockets, all the rest are unplugged. So I can basically put this, oh, let me see, I'm going to put my, my graphics card back in, which is going to be, um, it, well I want to put the graphics card in, it's going to be awkward to get back to the SATA plug, so I'm going to have to, yeah, I hope I don't have to take it out again. Hopefully it'll be easy to plug the cables in after after this because you know because they're less tangled up now at least I'm hoping so what another thing I can do is to tidy up these um, 
these wires so what I can do is a tie wrap them to this thing up here I'll get some let's see I'll find a nice long tie wrap uh, we'll go all the way around here I really want to tie this up a bit because it was such a mess before. I'll just tie wrap it onto that. So let's stop it dangling around. Now this one, this one has got to go. That's don't need that one. So they had three of these. No, cool. So this one. I can actually tuck that back up here, behind here. Uh, put it on the back of there. Right, getting the tie wrap. That's my thermistor, I need that. That goes on the graphics card, so that's okay where that is. <clears throat> right, that's tucked in on the back of there. So now I can just plug my ESD, electrostatic uh, data. Um, electrostatic cleaner plug that back in because obviously I don't need to put black switch I don't have to switch it on yet because I, there's a switch on the side I can switch it off here like that oh my god that switch is grunt gritty let's clean that as well So I'm cleaning the contacts by doing this. I'll leave it off for now. <coughs> I don't need it on right now, but I have to remember to plug that back, switch that back on. Knowing me, I'll forget, but yeah. So that's took that back underneath. Oh, actually, that wants to go underneath on the back, so I'll unplug that a minute. Plug that in the other side. On the back, because that wires out of the way. We want anything to do with the ESD near the case because it stops any interference with the sound audio on the sound card. Because you don't want it doesn't crackle to be honest with you because it's uh, it's going for that many resistors. Um, what the hell is this? Uh, that's, oh, that's the fan wire. That's my fan wire. Uh, where's that going? That one goes to the motherboard, so that's okay. Okay, another update. Well, we're carrying on. I've got the graphics card back, back in. Um, got my thermal coupling back in. Graphics card supplementary power is plugged in. Um, I've moved all my SATA cables that go to the hard drives in a uh, pretty inconspicuous, or should I say, safe area where they're not going to get any wires or anything sticking near them. And hopefully, obviously, my, all my SATA, all my drives have all got power to them, but. Yeah, it shouldn't make any difference that they're not plugged into the motherboard. Um, right, because I've powered them up before without any problems. So let's see what happens. I mean, obviously, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to video the installation of Zorin because you've seen me done it that many times on the virtual machine. But to be honest with you, it's going to be a completely different kettle of fish because number, number one, um, it has to access my internet to be able to download updates 
Uh, I don't know. I might I might video it. I don't know yet, but we'll see. <laughs> it's just that this video is getting too freaking long. Uh, I'm probably going to have to split it into parts, you know. Part one, part two, part three or something. That's probably what I'm going to have to do because it's just too big. Anyway, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Uh, I've got the SSD drive in the drive caddy in the front. Yeah, I'll probably show you, give you a light show when I power it up or something like that. But um, I'm going to have to stick the bootable. I have to eject the disc that's in the bottom one because I've got to put the bootable Zorin OS installation disc in the bottom. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Okie dokie. I'll stop it for now because I've got a fart about plugging all them damn cables down there. Uh, into it and uh, see what happens yeah oh yeah that's another thing um, I did leave some data on that disc so it's probably going to have to format that VMware disc that I was using it's probably going to have to format it or something there is a few backup images on there but they're all old backups so I'm not too fussy about losing them so anyway okay so I've got the Guess what? I just tried to install Zorin and I forgot to plug the <laughs> I put I forgot to plug SATA four in, which was to the uh Blu-ray drive. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, look, the the lights come on for the uh which shows that there's um a disc in the drive. So a solid state disc, so I am in Zorin right now. Um, where's my stand gone? Oh shit, look at that. I got the legs really short. Let me pause a minute, I've got to make the legs long. <laughs> so, all of the other drives are unplugged. I just have the Blu ray drive plugged in and the hard disk for the solid state. Let's see if I can get this right. Focus on the text. Okay, so I'm going to save graphic. No, I want the NVIDIA driver. So the modern NVIDIA driver should run my graphics card because I definitely need them. Right, let's try that. All right, I've clicked enter. It's, <coughs> it's doing its thing. Hopefully it can get the internet. It's going to have to use my, it, my uh, network cables plugged in so it should be able to get the internet, no problem. I'll just let it do its thing and see what happens. This I don't want this video to get too long again, so what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna have to do a lot of pausing. So yeah, I'm gonna pause until something happens. Well, the drive started to did it did it did 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 jump do, do a hop. So it looks like it's about to um Looks like it's loading drivers right now. Yeah, it's loaded the, some graphics drivers, checking MD5 sums. Officer. It's doing an integrity check of the image to make sure it's intact, which is cool because it's, it's brilliant that it will make sure that the uh, ISO, the installation ISO, is um, okay and not messed up. But I did burn it to a, a DVD disc, so I'm not sure if that's going to check anything change any settings or anything or any just check from should should come out right anyway so this is going to take some time so i'm going to pause okay it's doing a scan at the moment so every so often i'll unpause it but uh because these things can take a while if it's doing an, an md5 checksum then it might mean the it's detected a problem somewhere i'm just keeping my fingers crossed that there's no problem <laughs> but uh, it might just be a safety check I don't know but it didn't actually do this on the virtual machine so when I installed it on the virtual machine it didn't do it because I was using I was booting directly from the image the ISO um, but obviously I burnt the ISO to a DVD so the DVD file system might it should be the same though because it, I used the image to burn it so I didn't actually change anything and uh, oh well we'll find out anyway pausing again for a bit 
So just remember, this is the first time I've installed um, Zorin on my host computer, which is real physical hardware. And I'm a little bit nervous about it because that's when things could go wrong. It could it could cause all sorts of weird shit to go on with my BIOS and it could really... Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble, but um, if I do get it installed, I'm probably just going to update it, install the software that I want to use, which is... Um, uh, which is... Um, Caden Live, Caden, Caden Live to do my video editing, uh, but I'm not going to use it to surf the internet. I'm going to use the virtual machine for do doing that because it's a lot safer. So I really just wanted a decent operating system that that I could run Caden Light to do video encoding and stuff, and so I can boot into it when I need to do to do my video editing because I don't I want to be distracted with loads of stuff on the internet anyway when I'm doing that because. It's long enough, it takes ages, and uh, uh, and it doesn't take that long to shut down and reboot into the other system, you know. Pausing again. Cool. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to load the NVIDIA drivers. Yay, cool. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to, hopefully it'll work with my graphics card. I really hope it will, but it's quite a, a well... Uh, use graphics card. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of people use it for games, but I'm just hoping it's not obsolete. It shouldn't be because um, um, Linux generally supports all the hardware anyway. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, it'll do some. It probably do some video tests or something. Anyway, I'll pause again because otherwise this is going to get really, <clears throat> really, really long. Oh. It did it switch. Look at that 1360. It switched to 1360. Wow. <laughs> it actually swapped to the correct resolution as well by itself. So that means it's recognized the uh, graphics card. It's recognized the monitor. Um, that's all great. I just had a thought. Um, my firewall is blocking the access to the host in the router. Oops, I'm going to have to log in on the flipping um, on the phone and unlock it. Oops, I better do that. I'll pause again. Oh, well, it looks like I can't do it on my phone for some reason. It's because my Wi-Fi is going through two hubs. It's going through hub one and hub two. And yeah, I've got a different IP address uh, range on the second hub. So, oh, well. The same kind of protection that protects me, keeps me locked out as well. <laughs> oh well. I'll, I'll just have to enable the internet once I uh, get into uh, Zorin. I'll have to do it from... Anyway, once I've installed Zorin, it will do, it'll update the drivers off the internet anyway. Uh, so, it can do it later. <sighs> I'll sum up. Well, I have no idea what's going on right now because there's no hard drive activity. The light's not flashing and I'm not seeing anything on the screen. So I don't know if it's got stuck because there's no internet. Uh, it might think, oh, I don't know. It might have got stuck because it wants the internet. It's waiting for something. Hmm. Well, I got sick of waiting. It's been like 10 minutes and it's not doing anything. So I turned my internet off completely and turned off the routers because if it if it thinks there's internet and there isn't, it's not getting access, it's waiting endlessly for connection to something. But if I turn the internet off, it'll, it'll get a different message. It'll basically say no internet. So it will should skip forward, hopefully. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I'm going to go and make myself coffee. Uh, I'll pause. Well, I had to reset. Uh, it wasn't doing anything at all. So I pressed the reset button. But this time I'm going to try it without the internet. No internet at all. And uh, maybe it'll work this time. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. But it just got stuck. So we're going through all this again. 
all the CRC checks and everything. What I'm thinking at the moment is if, if it doesn't work with the modern NVIDIA drivers, I'm going to have to try the other option, which is safe graphics, or we'll have to try the safe graphics settings and see if it picks up the older NVIDIA drivers on there. Should do, but... Oh, I've got some sound then. don't think I heard that before, but it sounds like the sound's working. Anyway... We're just going to have to wait and see. Hmm. Okay. This time I clicked on uh, the control C to cancel the all the file system checks. Because it already did that last time. And it didn't come up with an error. So I thought, well, there's no point in checking them again. So I clicked on control C, which is what it told me to do. So anyway, we've got something different this time. Um, I've got the... Flashing globe, which I didn't get. I don't think I got that last time. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll see if it loads the NVIDIA drivers and see what happens. Hmm. Okay, so it said it's loading NVIDIA drivers. Now, I'm wondering if it got stuck on that last time. Because it might be. It might be that there's an incompatibility with the latest drivers. I don't know, but... Hmm. Anyway, we'll find out. Okay, we've got back to the... Uh, 1360, uh, 1360, 768 resolution, the NVIDIA drivers are installed, so, right, this time it's got no internet, so I'm hoping that it's not going to even try to look on the internet and make some progress, because I don't know what happened last time, it could have been, my internet's so crap anyway, it often just hangs up because the internet drops and, and it gets stuck downloading somewhere, well, maybe this time, oh, well, it's done that. It didn't do that twice. It's done it twice this time, so that's that's good. Uh, maybe we're going to get some progress this time. Because um, I don't know what happened. Uh, the had the sorry the the blue red drive is really flashing quite a bit. The green light's flashing, so it's definitely doing something right now. Hmm. I'm going to keep my eye on it because I keep remember, keep forgetting actually we don't need to be looking for hard disk activity. We just need to be looking for um, um, blue ray disk activity really. Because it hasn't put anything on the disk yet. Um, it doesn't even format it yet. So Anyway, we'll hopefully we'll get there. I'm pausing again because otherwise... Oh, look. I've got the little thing in the corner then. Yeah. I didn't see that last time. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yay. We've got a desktop. <laughs> yeah, I've got... Is my mouse working? Um, I've got no mouse yet. Oh, it's turned off. Turn my mouse on. Yeah, we've got a mouse. Ah. Cool. Yeah, I turn my mouse off sometimes because uh, it saves the battery and also prevents me from accidentally clicking. Ooh, it's got the sound as well. Cool. He knows who I am as well, English. Right, cool. Yeah, I'm just going to install it because it's on an external, it's on a drive I can right, install. We need to... It seems to have picked up the uh, NVIDIA drivers anyway. That's good. Uh, oh, it's, it thinks I'm in America. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Does my scroll wheel work? Oh, yeah. That scroll wheel works too. I want UK. <laughs> it's got English workmen. <laughs> oh, my God. What's the UK one? Oh, you kidding me? It's not there? Oh, it's over here. Right, English UK. Right. Coal man. Coal, oh, coal man. Um, oh, that's the one I want. Right. Make sure it's got a good focus on the text. Right, next.
Oh, it's put Polish. What the hell? I don't want Polish. I'll go back. Hang on. I'm not Polish, for God's sake. It's got English UK. Polish. What? I don't want Polish. No. Ah, I'm not Polish, for God's sake. What the hell is that all about? So, are we dead? Because it says English UK International with dead keys. No, I don't want dead keys. Just that one at the top. English UK. That's all I want. Ah, God. Bloody hell. I nearly got the wrong keyboard. Right. Mm. Right. I was just going to erase that disk is in there. Now I can turn my Wi-Fi back on. Because we're past the point where it crashed last time, so I'm hoping it's going to... Oh, I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi back on now. <sighs> my, I mean my internet. I'm turning my internet back on because it will probably want to try and find drivers off the internet. So, um, That's okay, I can delete it. It's the, right. Click next. As soon as you get this installed, I can um, plug all my other drives back in, you see. Right, uh, this. Right, continue. Huh. What, what do you think I'm over there for? I'm over here. Do. Oh, right, these are my login stuff, so I've got to pause. Right, okay. I shouldn't need to worry, the passwords um, start out anyway. Okay, at least it's working. I mean, internet's back on, so hopefully it can, it can find the internet. <sighs> I've just been in the kitchen nibbling on some kebab meat. Uh, I got a kebab earlier because I was hungry, absolutely starving. <coughs> oh, so I just had a nibble on that. I'll be glad when this is installed because then I can I can get all my other all my other drives plugged back in and then uh, do a um, do a boot manager add boot drive and all that stuff <sighs> I'm going to pause anyway because this is really long I was actually thinking as well what I could do is um, once I've installed Zorin OS I can go in I can boot from my disk management um, to I could boot from a then I could hide the, the Zorinos partition and uh, install Windows 7 on there. But then I'm think then I'm thinking no I better not because Windows 7 will just mess it up. Um it'll probably just mess it all up. It'd be better if, because I've got these removable drives, it'd be better if I just um repeat this whole process with a completely different SSD drive in there and put Windows 7 on a completely different one. And then um, I can actually have the Windows 7 on one SSD and Zorin OS on the other SSD because that caddy, you can have two SSD drives, 
two SSDs in, in at the same time, then I'll have two completely independent boot drives, and that would be even better because the Windows 7 is good. It, it just eats up disk space. It really does after a while, and um, it'll make it a lot easier when I want to back up the uh, partitions because I can literally just do a backup of um, each OS as a separate image instead of having to. Because normally if you back up an image of an operating system, it normally copies the boot record. And you don't want to have the boot record with two OSs on there because it, well, it's just messy. It's a bit messy. Anyway, pausing again because, yeah, it's taking a while. So just remember, because these, all these um, clips are all really long and um, what I plan to do with the YouTube videos is put an end screen on and basically the end screen will point you to the next part. So it'll be part go to part two, go to part three sort of thing. So I'll probably premiere the first one and I'll have the following parts unlisted. So you won't be able to see them unless you click on the end screen or the link in the description to see the remaining parts. So, and I'm saying that in, yeah, I probably should have said that right at the beginning because this is probably going to be part four or something. <laughs> Oh well, I'll have to do a little video introduction or something. I bet this thing really flies once it's booting from the SSD. Because remember, it's slow right now because it's copying stuff off the disc, the Blu-ray disc, which, well, it's, an, it's a DVD actually. And the DVD write speeds are pretty slow really, you know. So that's why it's really slow right now. So the first thing I want to do when this is finished installing is uh, enable the firewall because that's always turned off. You've got to be careful when you're installing this. Uh, I mean, Linux is very secure, really, but you do, you still don't want unauthorized access, do you? <clears throat> so anyway, I'll be going to sort that firewall out in a bit. Well, it looks like it's got the internet because it says retrieving file one of nine. So it must be getting internet stuff. Let's have a look at my router, see what the switch is doing. Yeah, I've definitely got internet activity because I know for a fact it's the Zorin that's doing it because I turned off my Wi-Fi so my phones are not, my phones don't have access to the internet at the moment. Because I didn't want anything interfering with it, and um, my switch is um, let's see there. Well, you can't see the LEDs, but I can just see them flickering. Uh, I'm not going to move the camera because I've got it set up in the right place with the focus and everything. Yeah, it's retrieved. 28th of 36, so it's definitely downloading stuff. Pausing again. Yep, it just confirmed it's just scanning the mirror, so it's connected to the mirror. So that's brilliant, it means I've got internet. So I was worried earlier that because I blocked the access to Windows XP and it also blocked Windows 7. It was blocked by the MAC address um, to the router, so the router wouldn't let anything through unless I unblocked it. So it appears that Zorin or Linux is using some kind of spoofed MAC address or different type of MAC address for some reason. I'm not sure why. But anyway, I'm not complaining because that's cool because I'm, I'm happy that Linux has got internet access because it means I can... If I want to do, I can block it separately um, than, from Windows. Um, but I'm not saying I want to block it, but I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit wary, a little bit untrusting of the internet at the moment because there's such a lot of stuff going on with um, hacking and bloody, um, yeah, you know, compromised systems and stuff. And uh, I've heard rumours that, even Linux is not 
100% safe. It's it's a lot safer than Windows. It's 90% safer than Windows. Windows is like 10% safe and Linux is like, well, probably 95% safe. So there's a small margin where there's some possible vulnerabilities, but you've got to put the firewall on and then you're probably 99%, probably 98% secure. But there's still a small concern. I'll tell you one thing. One thing is for sure. Um, I want to get um, Caden Live installed on this system. And that should really speed up editing this video that I'm making at the moment. Because to do this on... Um, to do this on Windows without hardware acceleration, it's very slow. And I'm hoping that I can use my full graphics um, capability to of my graphics card to speed things up a bit and get these videos encoded in lightning speed instead of having to wait around for I mean, hours I think the last long video I did was it I don't know, was it two hours and 15 minutes that took me uh, what was it nearly seven hours to encode it and that is just ridiculous oh configuring nvidia oh yay amd64 yeah recognizes you've got a 64 bit system obviously and doing that One of the reasons I'm recording all this is partly because my friend Dave, he's he's also considering installing Zorin on his supercomputer, you know, <laughs> his really fast supercomputer that he's got, um, which has had quite a few years, and um, he wants to see how I get on. He wants to know how if I hit any snags or any problems and uh, before he tries it on his, and obviously he probably wants me to help him do it. Um, but so far so good. I think the key is to basically when you first start running the installation is to have no internet because I had a little glitch where it got stuck and then the credit CRC checks as well maybe caused me a problem. I don't know but but it's working so far so good. Well, it's nearly there because it's doing cleaning now. It's cleaning up all the unused remnants and stuff that it didn't need. So it's doing completely removing all this <coughs> non compatible stuff that it, all the installation setup files, which is good. Yay! It says installation complete. Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer in order to use the new installation. Restart now. It should give me a message to remove the boot media in a minute. I'm going to wait until it asks me, otherwise it might upset it. It should boot really fast as well. Uh, when's that message going to come up? Yeah, there you go. Please remove the installation media. Oh, it's already ejected it for me. Thank you. <laughs> right. Press enter. Oop. Tripping over my shoes. So, <clears throat> I can plug all my uh, other drives in after, after, after I'm going to install, um, well I've got good internet because it seems to be working quite well at the moment, at the middle of the night it usually does. I want to install um, K 
Kajun Live. Uh, and also I've got to turn the firewall. Now, look how fast that is. Look how fast that's booting now. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> cool. No, I don't want the tour. I just want to get the firewall turned on. Settings. Right. It'll be the system. It'll be system or security. Uh... Privacy, no, uh, back, it'll be network probably, firewall, there it is, there you go, it wants me to put my password in, hmm, authenticate, there you go, firewall is not on, so I'm going to turn that on, There you go. Just leave it default. Right. Right, cool, that's done. Right, battery. Oh, it, hey, it even detects my ups. <laughs> that's cool. It detected my uninterruptible power supply. It's detecting that I'm using a wireless mouse. Wow, it even knows. It even knows how strong the signal is. <laughs> Wireless keyboard it even detects how strong the signal is for that. Right, so the power mode. Um, I want to turn that screen blanking off to never because I don't want it to go to sleep. Um, when on battery power, automatic suspend. Let's have a look. Will that go to when I? Can I put it to 20 minutes? I'll set it to, well, if it's on battery power, set it to, fifteen minutes. So if it's on batteries only. I want it to save energy, obviously, so I'll set it to the minimum. Uh, I don't want it on when it's plugged in, so right, that's okay. Right, now what else is that? <clears throat> um, power button behaviour is suspended, it says. Show battery percentage. Oh yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, look, battery percentage down there. It shows what my UPS battery is doing. Well, that's cool. That's, I didn't even have to install my UPS software. It, it, it recognised it. Mm. Right, so where's the... Screen server. I don't want the screen server on at all. Oh, is it? In? No, I've been in Anna. Power server is reduced performance and power usage. No, I'll leave it unbalanced. Um, right, so what else is the sound? I'll set the volume louder because it was really quiet. Um, test of line in test. Front, right, front, left. Right, that works. My audio is working okay. Oops, I just went and messed up that. I right, used my scroll wheel. I want it in the middle. Um, Microphone. I got my microphone plugged in, so does that work? Oh, I'm going to go and tap the microphone. Oh, it's across the room. <laughs> I'll go and tap on it, see if it can hear me. Oh no, it's not monitoring. Uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it actually detected it on the screen. Hang on a sec. Yeah. It's picking my mic up. 
it picks my mic up. I just can't hear it because it's not on. Um, alert sound default. What's this back? Drip. I like the drip. <laughs> Glass. What's that? Glass. I like the drip. Sona. No, I'll leave it on drip. <laughs> it's funny. Um. No, I don't want that on. That screen lock, I don't want it on. I'm alone, so there's nobody else here to mess with it, so. Ah, see screen, lock screen on suspend. No, I don't want to do that. Show notification. Not happy with that. I just want your empty waste back to get automatically delete temporary files. Yeah. So automatically empty waste back after 30 days. Yeah, that's okay. Mm. Mm. Anything else? Nope. Right. Okay, that's okay. Let's go back. I think I've set everything up now that I need to set up right now. See how fast this boots. Alright, restart. Remember, I'm using a solid state drive, so it should be pretty fast. I hope that when I plug on one of the hard drives in my master boot record, my boot manager's still there. <laughs> it should be, because it's all on the drives. Okay, we're booting. That's fast. 